Should the Cowboys move up aggressively and find a way to get Kyle Pitts in round one? Absolutely. Listen, Jerry Jones doesn't dream. All his dreams have become a reality. You know, when you think about the AT&T Stadium, you think about being able to own the Cowboys. Listen, he's a guy that can get things done. He told you that he would get Dak Prescott signed. He got him signed. Could you imagine if he moves up and able to get a weapon like Pitts to pair with all the other weapons that they have? Dak Prescott, that's a better way to protect him. I know everybody wants to say, go offensive line, go defense. But you know how you improve your defense? By putting points on the board and making other teams one-dimensional. And if if you have an opportunity to move it up, listen, Jerry, I'm not trying to bury Jerry Jones, but come on, man. He's getting up there in age, and he needs to see a Super Bowl before he rides off into the sunset. <laughs> and there's a lot of different ways to look at this that we also sometimes tend to look at round one as though it's the entire draft. He has plenty of other picks to fortify the defense if he wants to. D. Wood, what do you think he should do? Well, listen, man, Jerry Jones is the ultimate show, you know, showman out here. There's a reason why the Dallas Cowboys are the most valued uh, franchise in, in all of sports, but it just doesn't make any sense for Jerry Jones to try to trade up to go get a, a cow piss. I, I, I understand what Bart is talking about. It would be unbelievable, but Bart, you're a defensive guy. Have you taken a look at what Dallas Cowboys looked like on defense last year? They had the second worst <laughs> I'll defense and team hit in Cowboys history last year. Like you always said, they couldn't stop a nosebleed. And you want them to trade <laughs> up and mortgage picks to, to go yes. get Kyle Pitts? Listen, uh, uh, listen, I want that for the draft because it would be great theater, but just from a, you know, just from what would be best for the Dallas Cowboys organization, they have to address the defensive side of the football. Bart, Bart that is a, re they a, have. a reasonable it's question. Quinn. Go ahead, Bart. It is. It's called Dan Quinn. When you think about it, they brought in Keanu Neal. Listen, they already have two Pro Bowl caliber linebackers. They have a franchise caliber left, uh, you know, defensive end. They went out and got digs last year. They brought in Dan Quinn. They're going to play a bend, don't break defense. And if you have an offense that's able to put up those type of points, what, and all, it just even the productivity that they were able to put up last year when Dak Prescott was in the lineup, being able to do what they did to the number one defense in the Rams, being able to put points up and yards up on everybody, then they can play that bend, don't break, cover three defense. Defense. D. Wood, they have two Pro Bowl caliber linebackers. They have a great pass rusher in Lawrence. They went out and got digs. They can go out and get Richard Sherman to play the other side, to play that, you know, cover three defense and be able to be serviceable. You don't have to be great. You just have to be good enough. Bart, is, is Dan Quinn going to go out there and stop the <laughs> run? Because last time I checked, last time I checked, the Dallas Cowboys are giving them 3.5 yard, yards per carry before anyone had touched the running back. But you know that's atrocious. Listen, this is all a pipe dream. This is all about the, uh, you know, this is all about the Dallas Cowboys staying in the, staying in the news and all that. And like I said, I want to see it because of theater. But we all know the Dallas Cowboys. You got to be able to stop somebody out here, boy. It can't be, it can't be Madden with all these different players on offense. You got to play some <laughs> semblance of defense. All right, let me get Darlington in here because let, let's assess how they yeah. would get this done if they want to get it done. It seems to me, Jeff. And you're, you know the Dolphins situation as well as anybody. If Pitts gets to six, I have to believe the Dolphins would take him, which means if Jerry wants him, yeah. he has to go up to four or five. Yes? Yes. Look, I, Bart, Scott, Bart, you're doing so good at this TV stuff. But are you trying to go work for Jerry Jones? Like, you trying to get a gig under him? <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. He needs you in his war room with him. I mean, go back to 2014. When Jerry Jones was talking this very week seven years ago about how he wanted Johnny Manziel. He went into that draft room. He was going to draft Johnny Manziel. Stephen Jones finally said, what are you thinking? Like, we can't do that. They can't do that. They can't do that this time, Bart. Bart, they can't do it. Defense. Defense. They got to go all, defense. What's, what's There's no way they trade all the way What's all slander at me? Go ahead, Bart. Final word. <laughs> You're just so good at teasing. It's, it's so... <laughs> It's so, so much slander at me, man. Listen, I don't understand. Like, listen, Jerry Jones, if he gets that type of weapon, I'm trying. I'm telling you, you don't need a great defensive. They got enough defensive personnel. It wasn't the defense. It was the scheme in which they were playing. And Mike Nolan hadn't stopped the nosebleed in probably about 20 years. Just ask the Atlanta Falcons. Now you have somebody that's going to bend or break. If I'm able to put those type of numbers up, I'm all with it, man. Listen, I hated that. You get better defense by not having to stop the run because the team has to throw the ball to keep up. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.